configuring content switching in Citrix Next Gear. Content switching is an interesting concept. Um, the idea behind content switching is, let's say you have virtual web servers, which are serving all sorts of clients, all different varieties. Some people connect to, to it using mobile phones, some people connect to it using tablets, some people connect using laptop, desktops, different version of browsers and all that. So what you want, you want NetScaler to intelligently make a decision. For example, when somebody connects using his cell phone, you want the request to be redirected to the mobile website. Somebody connects using a desktop computer. You want the request to go to a desktop website, right? Or sometimes you may have multiple different URLs which are bound to one particular IP address. For example, if somebody writes CS1 or let's say portal.itsense.com, you want that request to go to a different set of virtual web servers. If somebody writes uh, vpn.itsense.com, you want a request to go to a particular set of web servers. So content switching is basically check for user request. It could be a user agent header. It could be uh, the URL itself. And based on the content switching policy that you define, it passes the user request to appropriate virtual servers. And those virtual servers are connected to or pass the service request to appropriate servers running those services. I have a small diagram here. It's a logical diagram. My, This is a big bad internet and users are connected to a virtual server content switching virtual server. So first thing what we do, we define a content switch virtual server with a virtual IP address. So external clients connect to content switching virtual server with virtual IP address. And then content switching virtual server, we check content switching policies. And in policy, it could be like check for a browser type, check for user agent, like check for a URL or could be any condition and based on those condition or based on that condition users will be redirected to different set of virtual servers for example if it's a request from mobile phone it will pass it to virtual server one and virtual server one will load balance this record, those mobile requests between web server one and web server two because in web server one and web server two i might be running mobile website if the request comes from desktop servers, it, according to the policy, it will pass it to virtual server 2. And virtual server 2 will balance the request between web server 3 and web server 4. Because let's say web server 3 and web server 4 are running website related to desktop version. Or it could be. So it all depends on the content switching policy. And it could be any condition browser type, type of clients, or URL based, or anything. Important point is virtual IP you assign to content switching virtual server, content switching virtual server switch the request to, or pass the request to appropriate backend virtual servers. And on backend virtual servers, you don't define any virtual IPs. They are just logical entities that pass the request to appropriate backend servers running required services. Okay? So let's move on to our server here. I'm on NS1. First thing first, if I go to settings, basic features, content switching is enabled. Right. I go to content switching here. Right now, there is no content switching virtual server. I define a content switching virtual server and name is CSVS1, for example, for HTTP protocol. That's fine with me. IP address here, I will define the, the IP address, virtual IP address, of course. 
um, that the user will commit to. So 172, 16, 21, and I can see 196. Okay, you can see all sorts of uh, type is there. And I would say OK. And right now, this content switching virtual server has been created. Okay. However, there is no content switching policy bound. Right. So, before we create content switching policy, what we can do, we can go to load balancing and define two virtual servers here. So add, I would say VS1, right, and no addressable, okay, because there are no services bound to it, and I can now select web server. VS1, it's bound to web server 1, and I will create another virtual server VS2 on addressable, and I will, oh sorry, on addressable, and I will bind, bind web server to as a service okay what I'm basically doing uh, I create a VS1 and VS2 here in the diagram I see four servers I don't have four servers I have just three so what I did basically I just we are I'm doing something like this so I have something like this vs1 bound to work web server 1 vs2 bound to web server 2 of course we know the concept of load balancing we can have here web server 1 or server 2 3 4 5 6 or as many backend servers but at the lab and it's a lab environment limited resources so i'm just testing it with one server which you can. and this is the con of virtual server contents of virtual server where we define it Okay, so let's go back to content switching. Okay, as we have created the content switching virtual server, now it's time to create a content switching policy. We can create a policy from here by clicking this option or go back and we can go to policies and click add name of a policy i would say url cs policy because i would like to create a content switching policy based on url if you create by expressions you see again we have expression builder and we have heaps and lots and lots of type of checks and expressions that we can create. I will go for URL based and for URL cstest.ipsets.com. This is my domain and look for which URL index.htm. So this is a domain. So if somebody write in browser HTTP cstest.itsets.com slash index.htm as you can see slash is already added. Look for this. So the policy is looking for this URL. Now let's go back to our context virtual server and edit that and we can select 
this policy assign uh, add that policy yeah j0 and target virtual server is in my case vs2 which is sending it to app server 2 okay so i'm binding this policy to this virtual server and if this policy condition met let's say somebody writes cs test or igsense.com slash index.htm take it to virtual server 2 What if, if they don't write index.ht, they write, let's say, IIS start.ht. In this case, we can create another policy condition or we can specify a default action or default load balancing virtual server bound. It's like a default route. If there is nothing in the policy, something else that's not specified in the policy, take it to this default load balance or choose. So in default, in my case, I will choose virtual server one and So now we have created a content switching policy. We have created content switching virtual server, assigned IP address to it, then bound policy to this server. And we have specified we have specified default virtual server for this policy or for this content switching virtual server as well. Now it's time to test. Okay, now it's time to test our content server policy. Keep this in mind that what we're supposed to see is this. If I write HTTP CS test dot IT sense dot com slash index dot HTM. I should go to web server two. If I write anything else, any other URL that index dot HTM, let's say IIS star anything other than index.htm I should go to web server 1 okay if this happened that means our content switching is working so let's test it out so if I say copy and paste this URL cstest.itsets.com slash index.htm web server 2 good so how about if I write this same URL oh, sorry same domain name but slash not index.htm slash is the star Web server one. So again, index.htm. Whenever somebody's writing index.htm, take it to web server two. And that's what I have defined in my policy, right? Look for this specific URL. If somebody mentioned slash index.htm take it to web server 2 other than that with the same domain write something else take it to web server so if I don't write anything what will I have? web server 1 because it's still not indexed alright so great we have tested content switching, which is working absolutely fine. And this is the concept behind content switching based on URL, based on expression, based on browser detection. Content switching can pass the incoming traffic to appropriate websites or appropriate server for requirements.
wire services. Great. Great job. Thank you.